Max Lewis just showed me the new DSM or parser for Amazon EKS and I want to pass along what I learned from him. So if you type here when you log in into your account if you type here EKS you get to this page and you need to have a cluster defined. I'm sure you, you'll have your own. If you don't have anyone or you want to do some testing you may want to create a cluster and wait, wait until this thing shows active. It takes a while for the cluster to actually be fully created. If you click on the workloads you can actually see your instance, your DNS, your node and your proxy, all the pods here. Let's actually click into configuration to prepare it for logging. We can see the details here. We're going to click in this uh, login tab. And the first time you do this, you're going to have to click here on manage logins. Decide what you want to enable for login. I select them all and click save changes. Uh, this is going to be these are going to be sent to a curator instance that resides in AWS to minimize uh, egression charges. But if your curator instance is outside, you may want to be a little bit more granular on what you actually want to send. So I'm going to cancel from here. About two years ago, I did another video on this, and you needed to create your uh, log groups. Not anymore. And to find out what your log group is, because you'll need it when you will be creating your DSM, you go to CloudWatch. You click here on their log groups. And here it is the log group that was automatically created for us. These things take a, a while to be ready, so if you don't see it immediately, wait a bit and come back and you will see it. You no longer have to do this step manually. So this is my Curator AWS instance, or Curator running on AWS. And you need to go here to the Log Source Management app right here and we're going to add a DSM. I already actually did it so I'm going to show you the steps I took to do this. Let's actually go there and select this one which is the one I created and I'll walk you with the steps that I went to actually do this. Let's click here edit. I gave it a name. The log source type has to be AWS Kubernetes services, EKS. And uh, if you don't have the, that option in there, it might be that you haven't done auto updates. And if not, you can go to Fix Central and download the RPM and install it manually. The protocol type has to be AWS Web Services. Nothing else in here. Let's actually go to the protocol. Couple of things. Um, Here's the name, the authentication method is the default. I selected this one and when you select that one then you get these entries for putting your key and your secret. You need to select the right region and the only other thing that uh, we put in here is remember that, uh, well, you need to select actually, I, I believe that this thing by default put Kinesis Data Stream, yeah. Uh, that's not what you want. As you saw me before, you, you, you get this through CloudWatch and that's the name of the cluster of the log group that we got that what automatically was automatically created when we uh, created the cluster. Uh, just to for testing purposes, uh, I, I enable this advanced option to change the event delay from 900 seconds to 60 seconds. You may that may be too verbose for you, too frequent, so you may want to actually. Uh, put that back in 900 or simply disable the advanced options. After that, all you need to do is perform the test. I really like uh, these uh, testing capabilities that the DSM have in Curator because if something goes wrong I can see actually when I was first doing it uh, I, I got a mistake and it exactly told me where the mistake was. Very cool. So we are done. Let's actually issue some commands that will force some logs to come to my curator instance and you will actually see those. 
In a separate video, I show how you install the AWS CLI, which is this one, and, and even the AWS, the EKS CTL utility. Now, one important thing that I almost forgot to mention. In that video, I show you that I create some, created some credentials and I use with this utility. Those are full admin credentials. You do not want to give those credentials to the DSM when you put the secret key, the, 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 the access key and the secret, uh, because Curator doesn't need that full access, and that's an exposure. Remember the Solar Wind saga, right? So you need to make sure that the credentials that you have are just limited for, just uh, read only for the getting the logs uh, in Curator. Now, this uh, utility, as you saw in that separate video, when I install it, does have the AWS CLI has full admin right because I will going to be performing some admin actions in here. This is the full syntax of the commands. It's the AWS for Elastic, describe cluster, singular, and put the name. And that's the, remember the name that we got for the log group? for the cluster actually eliminate all the slashes and just put the core of it and uh, that should work and here you have it i'm covering some information for my account uh, in there i'm going to be deleting all this uh, after i'm done with the video anyway so now let's actually go to curator and see some logs coming from it so this thing is very verbose uh, so I did a search for the last 30 minutes and no, I noticed I have 40 pages. <laughs> and this is the log source we created and we can see some some activity. Actually group that by event name so we don't get all that repetition and we get to see the type of even with that we get four pages of logs. So very verbose. I almost forgot to mention that when you add this uh, DSM, this log source, not DSM, when you add the log source uh, to your curator system, you will need to deploy changes because the, this cannot be auto discovered. You need to go there and get them. And that's all I got to show you. The video is short because this stuff is actually very easy, very straightforward.